wanted to kind of go back in time. So Wyoming was that opportunity. So we came to Jackson visiting friends and we fell in love and we kept coming back and finally we, you know, wanted to do a house. Dick and Ginger Heath wanted more than a house though. They wanted a home, one that would fit in with the grand plan to make the most of Mother Nature's sweeping views. After all, here you do have the Snake River Valley and the Grand Tetons. We really didn't want to be close to anything. We wanted to be out. And so we found this wonderful neighborhood, Butler's Creek. Great people, great neighborhood. We're in the, the wilderness, but we have a log castle. THB built the house, but mostly it was Pete Welker and Dick Heath. Um, Dick is such a detail guy and spending all of his time on every little nook and cranny and of course mechanically and the inside and the interior design I know was yours yes okay we walk up see the front doors tell us about those front doors the front doors are distressed um, and they were distressed by myself and also another distressor <laughs> <laughs> with a belt sander and I've done it before um, previously so you just use a belt sander and you kind of ram it into the door and then you use um, uh, chisels and chains and take out every bit of frustration right. you could possibly have. But this is have. mahogany. That's harder to do. It's harder to stress mahogany than it is like oak or something. That's the first statement and then you enter the foyer and it's hard to know which way to turn. There is beauty to entice you in each and every direction. The stairs that go left go to the master and it's totally tucked away. We could hide away over there for a couple weeks and no one would find us, you know, if we had guests over here. So that's, that's one thing I really love. And then below that is a wine cellar. And then as you come up these stairs, it's the great room. Those stairs are spectacular with the iron twigs. They are iron twigs. And there was an artist, his name is Leland. And his last name escapes me, but he did a wonderful job in the iron. Well, this is a great room in all ways. How did you furnish it? Who helped you decide? I wanted to try to do this myself, and pretty much I did. And I didn't want it to be contrived. That was the most important thing, so that it wouldn't look like a model home, that it, the furnishings could be lush and, and lovely, comfortable, but they didn't have to be twins and Twinkies and patterns and everything matched. So did I you hope have I did that. Did you some help with the scale? You know who, who worked with me is Kyle Perkins, who is the most extraordinary creative genius for everything. Of all the rooms, I know that you love your master suite. What was the idea behind it? Well, I was still going for the solitude part, you know, but um, in general, I think just that it would really make a statement that it's I think the master bedroom oftentimes doesn't always label the marriage what it is. And our marriage is labeled in that room. It, it's, it's signature, signed. What do you say? I don't know. It works. What you you're know, saying right. works. But it's, uh, it is a special room. It reveals it, who you are. It reveals who we are. That's what I meant <laughs> to say. <laughs> you told me that the work and the effort that goes behind a log home really surprised you since this was your first one. I think I thought, I mean, just, you know, my fantasy view was that a log home would be wonderful and quaint and charming to have, but I didn't understand what it takes to build a log home. A log home cost 40% more than regular construction, but you get so much from it. This house is made for guests. Lots of family, lots of friends, and Ginger is looking forward to packing them in on ski weekends. And of course, in summer and fall, entertaining expands into the outside areas. And that's why the kitchen and its decks and views are favorites for the Heaths. We can hear the waterfall and we watch the birds. It's just like inside outside. Who dreamed up? the whole backyard that landscape That was totally idea. Dick. That was totally Dick's concept. He's so fabulous at landscape, and he loves landscape design, landscape architecture, and we work with MD Landscaping, who are the best. When you come back at the end of the day, and you guys walk in and you're here together, and you look around, what goes through your mind? 
we say the same thing to each other every time we go, this is some place, isn't it? Is this a place? I mean, this is some place.